Shalom, Kahala Yahweh, Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Rapakadash, the honors my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the elect of the house of David reborn again in this generation, and Shalom to the 130 Yashurala, who today are known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Indians, who before losing their true heritage were known as the Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to cover a very spiritual event that took place earlier uh, last week. But let's read this first. This is Revelations 7 and 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the, the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And right here, he's talking about the 144,000 elect of the one-third. Because when you get into the, the pie chart of salvation, out of all the Israelites that are upon the face of this earth, which again, right now, that's a mystery. But according to Zechariah uh, chapter 13, it tells you that one-third of those are going to make it. Right? And also, the servants of the Most High, the ones who are actually doing His work, would be the 144,000, right? Uh, these would be the spirits of the elect, the first fruits uh, who are today out teaching, prophesizing, you know, or or who had been here and have now gone to the spiritual world, but will be back with people like Abba Bivens, King Masha, who was, he, who, is, who was King David in the reincarnation, you know? But these are, when these 144,000 are finally sealed, when the last brother hears this truth, uh, he's going to wake up. That's when these four angels that are holding back the uh, the winds, the four winds of the earth, those here, the four winds of the earth, that refers to the destruction, right? And right now, while you're seeing everything starting to come apart at the seams is because more and more Israelites are waking up, right? And it's going to get to the point where finally the 144,000 uh, elect wake up. And that's going to be it. The Lord is no longer going to hold back these four angels. Let's continue. Verse 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Right? So you got scoffers out there like Christians, like this guy, uh, Agent Mark Reiser, who goes by the church name Vocab Malone, right? Who say that uh, that there isn't going to be 1,200 out of every every tribe that are going to be sealed, right? But how does he know, man? It tells you that in the Bible. I like, see that guy doesn't believe. A lot of these Christians will try to skew and change the Bible so that way it fits their narrative, man. But again, if you're serious about the Lord, you understand that whatever the Bible says, that's that's what, what it says, right? And not these modified versions. You got to go back to the King James 1611 edition, man, which was the original put together Bible, which was ordained by the Lord to, to, to uh, be put together. Now, ultimately, we're getting close to getting these 144,000 sealed, right? Because you're starting to see a lot of people out there in this in this world who are starting to mention the 12 tribes of Israel, being the Negroes, Latinos, Native Indians, being uh, the Israelites, right? Calling the so-called Caucasian race Edom or Edomites, right? Because people are starting to wake up to the truth. Well, last week, what happened is there was the biggest flag in America. It's known as the Acuity uh, American flag. It's literally the biggest flag in all America, right? And it tells you right here, right? It's it's, it's such so such a big flag. It won uh, uh, like a Guinness World Record, right? And it tells you here it says, "Home of the world's 
tallest symbol of freedom, right? Now, let's see what happened to it uh, on the second. So, during, it tells you here, it says, God is angry. One of the largest American flags was torn in half, right? Now, what was the last time something like that happened uh, in biblical terms, man? When, when did that happen, right? That something got torn in half, right, on the behalf of the powers of heaven. Let's go and read that now. See, this story can be found in Matthew 27 and 51. And it reads, And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake and the rocks rent and this is retelling of the story of what happened when the Messiah who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ whose true biblical name is Yahweh Shai which means he is salvation when he was crucified that when this finally happened that there was a big earthquake and that the, the curtain which separated the the holy of holy rooms where the Ark of the Covenant was kept from the main lobby where the menorahs were stored or presented, that big curtain which separated the uh, the Holy of Holies from the rest of the world, that was ripped in, in two, right? So that right there is a spiritual sign, man. So you see, so when you see this flag being ripped by a storm, just to give you an idea how big this is, look at these people down here, man. Look how small these people are compared to this big old flag. Now look at this flag, how it just how how in half it was it was ripped, all the way from the from the top of it all the way to the bottom, right? This is a spiritual sign, people, that this place is done for, man. The Lord has closed the book on, or Salaki, He is closing the book on Babylon the Great, and. Uh, it's starting to uh, be closing time, man. Let's read this. This is Micah 2 and 3. Therefore, thus says the Hawabashi Shai, Behold, against this family do I devise an evil, from which ye shall not remove your necks. Neither shall ye go haughtily, for this time is evil. All right? Because what's happening is the Lord is, is soon going to take down this 400 foot flagpole USA flag right as as, a, as an omen to what's about to come come right look at this man all these Edomites these so-called Caucasians out there you know taking this flag out and they, and they made a big deal about this too man this was a big deal uh, to these people that the flag you know was 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 kept pristine never touched the ground right it's a big source of pride for these people man look look how huge this thing is right they even made this uh this website to commemorate the largest flying american flag right they took it around the united states they hung it from the the, the washington uh, bridge they had it uh in north carolina you know and right now it's it's at it, well, it was at rest in wisconsin right and you know one thing i want to search for let's go and take a look real quick at what this term acuity means because i i did a look look on it real quick and it's pretty uh it's pretty telling what it means let's get past all the ads and look at this acuity sharpness keenness of thought vision and hearing right intellectual acuity right is when you're basically honed in on something you're so focused on something that uh that that you, you have a acute acute vision right you see in that and that's spiritual because right now when you when you consider babylon the great america and you consider its future right there there, there doesn't appear to be a future for america man its foresight is gone right its sharpness or keenness of thought, right? How it's gonna go move on to the future. It looks like it's gone. Its vision is gone, right? What does it tell you? Where there is no vision, the city perisheth, 
Right? That's what the Bible says, man. This is Zephaniah 1 and 14. The great day of Yahweh Bashim Shai is near. It is near and hasteth greatly. Even the voice of the day of Yahweh Bashim Shai, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Right? Because what we're seeing right now, the, the mass riots breaking out all over the place. These new law, draconian laws being pushed through speedingly to where it seems like the this whole place is just being ran on a whimsical uh, note right the economy crashing uh, I think it's like one-third of people uh, not working unemployed you know you got the president hiding in bunkers you know this is ultimately the downfall of America. This is the end of this aeon. This is the end of this age, people. We are soon about to approach the second coming of the Lord and the new kingdom of heaven, which shall be on earth, where the Lord is going to reign alongside the 12 tribes of, of Israel, right? And this is going to be heaven on earth, which is where we're going to have the so-called Caucasian in bondage, just as today you have the Negro, Latinos, Native Indians in bondage, man. Right? That's what the other heathens of this nation, starting with the Caucasian race, uh, have to look forward to, man. You know, And then after a thousand years, the other nations shall, shall be permitted to go back into their lands with their own, you know, own set of uh, uh, rules. But ultimately, they're going to be governed by us, and they're going to be worshiping the Lord rightfully. And if not, they're also going to have to answer to us. Right? It tells you in the Bible. This is what ultimately is coming, and this is what this omen is, is a sign of. This is Jeremiah 51 and 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and is destroyed. Howl for her. Take balm for her pain. If so, be she may be healed. Right? We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and l let us go, every one, into his own country. For her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even by the skies, even to the skies. Zalaki. The Lord has brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of our Lord, our power. Right? And that's what we're doing right now. We are declaring in the mountain of Zion, Zion meaning to Zion, meaning a monument, right? because the nation of Israel, the, the people you know today as the Negroes, Latinos, Native Indian, one third of those people who will be saved to make it past the end of the world, those people will be will be known as the nation of Zion, right? New Jerusalem, right? And from these people, you shall have a race of super people who will rule the world along with the Lord here on earth, right? Because what we are soon going to see is what the secular world refers to as an alien invasion or what the Bible has always declared as the second coming of the Messiah or the great day of the Lord right this is what we are soon approaching people so I just want to touch upon that Akim I wanted to bring the spiritual symbol out so that we can all be aware of what uh, recently took place over in uh, Wisconsin so tell the next time I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahashai, Bashem, Kokwa Dash, double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. Shalom.